Today, we're going to be reading a story called Maddie's First Winter. Maddie lived in a very busy pet store with her brothers. They spent their days running around, playing with each other and visiting with all of the customers. One day, a lady and a man came into the store. Maddie liked the lady right away and ran over to say hello. The lady lifted Maddie out of the kennel and set her down on the floor. Maddie took off running through the store with the lady running behind her. Suddenly, Maddie stopped and peed on the floor. The lady started to laugh and right then she chose to take this little puppy home to the farm. This was how Maddie first came to the farm and how she was adopted into the family. These people became her family and she became theirs. Winter had already come to the farm and Jack Frost was everywhere. The bushes and trees were shining in the sun with the heavy frost. Maddie's mummy decided that Maddie needed a warm coat and boots. She bought Maddie a pink coat with a fuzzy warm lining and four pink booties. Maddie loved her coat but she hated her boots. Her feet felt funny when she walked in them. She lifted her legs high in the air when she took her first steps and then she would try and shake the booties off. When her foot touched the floor, she would slip and then splat. She would fall down on her tummy with all four legs stretched out. Step, slip and splat. Step, slip and splat. Maddie decided that enough was enough. She chewed the booties off her feet and her mummy never put them back on. Maddie was still a puppy and learning how to go pee outside. While Maddie was outside, she liked to run and explore. She would run around sniffing and licking everything in sight. Maddie ran up onto the back deck and she saw something very shiny. Maddie stared at the shiny thing. She barked at it. She sniffed it. Then Maddie did something no one should ever do. She stuck her tongue out and licked it. What Maddie did not know was that the shiny thing was a metal snow shovel that was covered in frost. When metal gets cold, it gets very, very sticky. Maddie's tongue got stuck to the snow shovel. Maddie was very frightened and upset. She tried to pull her tongue off the snow shovel, but it would not come off. The shovel was frozen to the step and it did not budge. She pulled harder and harder. Her tongue stretched, started to stretch out longer and longer. The more she pulled, the longer her tongue stretched. She yelped as best she could with her tongue stuck to the shovel. Her family heard her and came running to help. By the time they got to Maddie, she had pulled so hard that her tongue was stretched a long, long way out of her mouth and was starting to hurt. They snatched Maddie and the snow shovel up together and carried them both inside the house. They quickly poured some warm water over Maddie's tongue and the snow shovel. This was the only way to get safely the Maddie's tongue unstuck from the shovel. After the snow shovel came off Maddie's tongue, she snuggled with her mummy. When she felt a bit better, she jumped up on the back of the couch, turned around once, and went to sleep. Maddie's tongue hurt for a long time, and she had a hard time eating for two whole days. All she could do was drink water, and even that hurt at first. Maddie was just a puppy, but she never again tried to lick a frozen snow shovel. And that's the end of this book. And we'll see you again soon. Bye.